America, a bipartisan country with a bipartisan media. Objectivity seems to have gone out the window. But here in Davenport, the lead newspaper falls in the middle. MSNBC and Fox News seem to run in opposite directions. And everyone else is taking sides. But a study from the Christian Science Monitor indicates that this is just our perception. They say news is a business. Different reporting styles and public opinion shape the media. They'll have a hard time convincing the public of that. Half of America thinks the news is too liberal, and only 13% say it's too conservative. Likewise, the Pew Research Center says Republicans think Obama has it easy. After all, on your TV, it's ABC, NBC, CBS, and CNN versus Fox. But guess who comes out on top? The Quad City Times might not hold the same cloud as these powerhouses, but they've got integrity. It's persuasive writing, and there's a lot of ways you can do that. Um, but the first thing you want to do is write in, and report in ways that invite an audience in. Um, you don't want to write and put in things that distance an audience, that condemn. Uh, you really want to, I really want to watch that because we want to be inviting to all of our readers, even those we may disagree with. Um, because we're developing a long-term relationship with these people, not just what we happen to see today. Because what you see is not always what you get. According to mass communication theory, agenda setting is the idea that media don't tell people what to think, but what to think about. Even the leader of the St. Ambrose Democrats Club wants to see the whole picture. It's nice to read that, and, and you're like, oh, wow, thanks. Like, I really appreciate, you know, this. But, um, you know, I don't want to be told what I want to hear. I want to be told the facts. And the Republican Club agrees. Yeah, you know, again, I think the media should try to stay as objective as possible and help the just help the citizens uh, make the best make the best decision possible that they'd like to and have the people that they want to see in office. And your voice counts too, whether you're an editor, a writer, or a consumer. You can be heard. You can use local media as a sounding board. The Quad City Times gets dozens of letters a day. If your letter's not published, your opinion will probably still be expressed. So what I'm looking for is a day-to-day -day balance um, that represents um, not a 50-50 split, but it represents the split among what our letter writing community is saying. And we've seen that in some of our political candidate endorsement letters too, where they're not running 50-50. So day-to-day -day we try to make sure that the, the display that uh, our readers are getting accurately represents the longer view, what we've gotten over the past month. The paper presents the letters as point A versus point B. But it's not always a level playing field. In some cases it won't be 50-50 because I don't have 50-50. Um, but I always make sure that there's an, uh, an alternate voice in there so that people see that range. We study the Quad City Times from September 19th to the 21st. And over those three days, Romney was mentioned 63 times, but Obama only 43. You might think that's unfair, but according to Jordan Light, that's just the way things work. One of the things we did in our research, well, Sarah, tediously, tallied up uh, how many times over a three-day span, how many times Romney was mentioned in the Quad City Times, and how many times Obama was mentioned in the Quad City Times. Can I, can I guess real quick? I bet Romney was mentioned more, am I right? You were right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair in news, though, because everybody knows President Obama. You know, 04, yes, we can change that. He took the country by storm, and that's fair, and that's a fair assessment right down the middle. I think you ask any Republican or Democrat, everybody knows his story. Romney's new, and what sells? New. I mean, nobody wants to buy, you know, an old car. You know, they want the new car, so, uh, you know, um, they want to know about, they want to know about this guy. He's, you know, he, he uh, is an interesting character. Uh, I know a little about his background, but uh, I don't know everything about the guy, and I'd like to know more of myself even, just to say, you know, this is who he is, and this is what he does, and this is what he's about. So I think that's why you're seeing his name more in the news, especially after uh, the first debate. He, he had a, a fairly good showing, I think. I think he did a, a pretty good job. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously people are going to be now even more interested. They want to know what's going on. But does the media really tell us what's going on? Let's think back to June 2011. The debt ceiling was about to default. The GOP race was heating up. But this was the top story. The press has a right to run whatever they want. But that doesn't mean they should. They have a social responsibility to keep the public informed. And FAIR.org reports that the editorial is among a newspaper's most widely read pages. The Quad City Times is a weekly editorial board meeting that helps Rodolfi uphold that responsibility. Um, I bring in the agenda. 
we talk about the different issues. I circle the ones that where there's been uh, enough discussion I feel comfortable writing about it, and then you'll see I've marked through the ones uh, to let folks know, this, these, to let me know, hey, we've written on these, and to keep track over time. So I can go back through my file of all our uh, editorial ideas and get an idea of what our history has been on different topics, um, and to make sure we got a good balance. Um, balance politically, uh, balance on topic from government to social issues, balance with the two states, um, Iowa and Illinois, to be reflective of what our readers' interests are. The end result is a voice for the voiceless, and they meet the standards of the Society of Professional Journalists. Among the otherwise voiceless are the 47% Romney referred to. Light likes that Romney's clip was exposed. I like to know what people are saying behind closed doors because sometimes, you know, it's great when a Republican or, a, you know, not, I should say any um, political leader gets out there and says, you know, uh, you know, oh, the American dream and, you know, or we're going to work hard and every day the sun, you know, the sun always shines on America and it never rains here, you know, that's great. But, you know, what are they saying behind closed doors and what are they saying that they really believe, you know, so that's what I think is fair. Amid a polarized world, the Quad City Times has come as close to fair as possible. Each talking head is balanced by another, and the news dictates what goes in the newspaper.